Welcome to On The Bench LFC. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Mohamed Salah and my reasons why I feel that he will be remaining a Liverpool player for the next few seasons at least, instead of listening to all these rumours that you're seeing about him having a move to another club shortly. Firstly, I just quickly want to say, if you are a Liverpool supporter and you enjoy watching daily Liverpool content on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification next to it so you don't miss out on my daily videos and I do live streams on the regular as well. So make sure to hit the subscribe button now, guys, if it's something that interests you. Mohamed Salah. There's a lot of reports coming out, whether you believe them or not, on the fact that Big teams are in for Mo Salah. That's what I'm seeing on the media. Big teams. Um, like your Real Madrid, Barcelona. I mean, the rumours about Barcelona are that um, they're looking at Mo Salah instead of maybe Coutinho now. Real Madrid have apparently put forward their interest in um, Mo Salah as well. Um, plus then you've got his agent coming out and saying that he'd be interested in a move away. Friends of the family and things like that saying that um, he wasn't going to be at Liverpool for long. You know, a lot of different stories, guys. So that's why I want to talk about it in this one. And I want to let you know why I think that we should just ignore them at the moment. So starting with my first point with it is he hasn't even played a full season at Liverpool Football Club, has he? Um, you know, I think it's a little disrespectful to Liverpool. I know we signed him on a low and, yes, Mo Salah is in the form of his life right now. Um, but it doesn't mean anything. I really do feel that Liverpool won't be looking to take any offer that's put on the plate to Liverpool for Mo Salah. I really just can't see it happening, guys. Um, he's been a mega signing for Liverpool, if not the best signing since Luis Suarez, and some are comparing him to him. I think he's a completely different player, but yes, he is now looking to be one of our best players, which obviously Suarez was one of the last players that a lot of people raved about at Liverpool Football Club. So that's my first reason, guys. And it comes down to the fact that I don't think Liverpool are going to be looking at any offers put on the table for Mo Salah in the near future. So my second reason that I want to talk about in this video, and that is the form. I just mentioned Mo Salah's in the form of his life right now. Um, when he was at Chelsea, a lot of people started calling him a Chelsea flop. A lot of people were saying that he wasn't good enough for the Premier League and for a top club in the Premier League. The way I like to look at it is that he just didn't give, get given a chance. Um... He's proven that coming to Liverpool. Yes, from the man himself, when he first signed for Liverpool, he did an interview and he looked at it that he's gone away. He's matured a lot since his time at Chelsea. He's grown up. He's a family man now. You know, um, He's learned a lot since being away from the Premier League. He obviously went to Roma, improved a lot of his game there, and now he's brought all that back to Liverpool. So, so if you look at it on that aspect... Um, He's saying the same sort of thing. That he was he was young, um, didn't really get given a chance. But if you forget about all that and you concentrate on the form that he's in now, um, he's the top scorer in the Premier League, guys. You know, he's going to get assists and goals for fun this season. Some people are even touting that he could hit 35 goals this season in all competitions, which I think is more than capable of doing that. So, you know, if you're looking at that alone, um, why would Mo Salah want to leave Liverpool Football Club? He went to Chelsea, didn't do well. You know, he played at other clubs before that, which gave him his breakthrough. So that's why I'm saying if you look at Mohamed Salah himself, why would he want to leave Liverpool Football Club? You know, um, he got a breakthrough, ended up in the Premier League for the first time around with Chelsea. As we say, it didn't work out. Went to Roma, improved his game. His form really picked up and he started to make headlines. Now he's moved back to the Premier League with Liverpool Football Club and he's smashing it. He's found a team and a manager that... He can work well under, you know. I don't, if I was a player, why would I want to leave a team that is in the most competitive league in the world? So there's not another league that he could go to that he could say, well, it's better than the Premier League. Um, also, Liverpool Football Club are one of the biggest teams in the Premier League. Yes, a lot of people say we're only history, but that's, that's absolutely rubbish. Liverpool are trying to build something again with our players that we've got at the moment under Jurgen Klopp, you know. Um, we're close to making the next step, in my opinion. So keeping players like Mo Salah is a good thing for Liverpool. And players like Mo Salah will obviously be able to see that. I mean, he signed for Liverpool because he saw that there was movement in Liverpool. He saw that there was a reason for him to sign for Liverpool is that we want to win things again. So... You know, why would he want to leave that? Why would he want to leave a good project um, that has a good future, a team that are playing well in general at the moment? Yes, we won't talk too much about the Everton result, but we are playing well in general. Um, and he's part of that, and he's part of the LFC family now. Um, so that is my second reason why I think that Mo Salah 
won't be going anywhere within the next couple of years because he shouldn't want to leave. He's he's made a home for himself now, so why would you want to leave that? So that brings me to my third reason, guys, and that is money. Money talks these days, you know. He signed a four-year contract at Liverpool. I don't know what his weekly wage was or whatever. I don't think anyone fully knew the truth on it, but if he carries on the way he is, he will be offered a better contract. Whether it's bonuses per goal, assists, or whether he just gets a weekly bonus or whatever, I'm not too sure what will happen, but you know, to ward off other teams, Liverpool will be coming at him with a new contract. Within the next two years, I think we can see Salah being signed up to a new deal. Um, whether he will take that, that's up to him, but with my other points, you know, the reason I'm saying money, guys, is because the Premier League, with all the TV rights and that in it now, um, there is a lot of money in the Premier League. So by going and signing for a Real Madrid Barcelona doesn't necessarily mean that he'll earn more money for his family um, in another league. You know, I think Liverpool should have the power to be able to pay a player of his quality enough wages to keep him happy. Plus, with the money in the Premier League is going up which means there's going to be a bigger gap in the future between our league and the Spanish league and the French league and the German league. You know, um, there already is a difference in how much money the leagues earn, hence why your lower teams in the Premier League can compete with other teams in, in the other leagues, you know. So I definitely do feel that money is a big deal with players these days. As much as we don't like it, um, money does talk. So, you know, Liverpool should be more than capable to keep Mo Salah for the next few years Purely down to the money basis, I think we can offer him enough to keep him happy, you know. So that's my, that's another reason why I think Mo Salah stays at Liverpool for the next few years. So the final reason I want to bring up is the man himself. And that is, Mohamed Salah seems like a really nice person. Um, he's very about his country and where he comes from. He's very humble. He doesn't celebrate goals because of things that have gone on in, in the real world, if you want to put it that way. Um like bad things that are happening. Um, he just seems like the sort of player that would be happy with the level of support um, that he has from his national team at Liverpool. And that's growing daily because of us having Salah as well. But we already did have a big support. I mean, if I'm, if, if I'm to sum up what I mean with that, if it's a little bit confusing for you guys, it's the level of support from his national team, which obviously means a lot to him. There's a big support at Liverpool Football Club. And a lot of them are happy that he's playing for us. So, you know, if he went to a Real Madrid or a Barcelona, yes, he would still have support. Of course he will, because they don't just support Salah because of who he plays for. But what I do mean is, I don't think there's another club that has got as big of a support from those parts of the world as what Liverpool have got. So I do generally think that that will be a big part in keeping Mo Salah at Liverpool as well. So yeah, those are a few reasons from me personally why I think that we will keep him and why he won't leave us anytime soon. But like I say, there will be more reasons. In general, there will be a lot more out there. But I want to know what you guys think. If there's any reasons that you would like to bring up, leave it in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button for Mo Salah in general because he is a legend. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for daily Liverpool content. I've been on the Bench LFC, guys, and you have all been legends. Take care, guys.